the Jacobian regime in France first of all abolished slavery. Now in the French colonies there was actually the production or cultivation of tobacco, indigo, spices that is why they had to start with the triangular slave trade as the European were reluctant to go and work in these distant lands. So there was shortage of manpower in the plantations. Therefore a triangular slave trade was started between Europe, Asia and America in the 17th century. And in this trade the slaves were packed in ships and they had to go on a long sea voyage on a ship that was packed with human beings who were treated like animals and then these people were sold to the plantation owners. There was lot of criticism of the slave trade in France but nothing came out. The convention of 1794, the convention in 1794 legislated to free the slaves but this was not a permanent measure because Napoleon reintroduced slavery in France and then finally the slavery was abolished in France in the year 1848. Now why did the French government take so much of time to abolish slavery when they knew that this was a wrong practice? Because the government did not want to displease the businessmen whose income depended upon the slave trade. Now the slave trade had also made it possible to meet the needs of the Europeans whether it was tobacco, indigo, spices or any such thing. That is why the slave trade flourished for a long time in these centuries wherein the slaves were transported from one country to another to work in the plantations. That was about the slave trade which flourished in the centuries that the French revolution had occurred. I will continue with the rest of the chapter in the next clipping.